Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys for another video today. And what we're going to do today is something slightly different. We had the game yesterday of course, but what I'm going to be bringing you today is a transfer video. Now it has been a while guys, a lot of you are with me throughout the summer with the constant transfer window videos. It has been about a month now, nearly a month since the transfer window came to an end. But I do have a video here for you today where we're going to be discussing Leon Goretzka and whether or not he can fit into the Barcelona system should he be a player that we're actually trying to pursue and bring in either in January or next summer. So we're going to be having a look at him in a lot of detail, whether he suits us, his style of play, his history, his past, what he's doing right now. But first of all, we're going to take a closer look at the links between us and Goretzka and what the papers have been saying over the past week or so in regards to this transfer. But if I just take you back to the summer, we were linked with Goretzka during the summer. It was a lot of talk about him coming. He was offered to Barcelona reportedly simply because it's very, very important to note that come June the the 30th 2018 Leon Goretzka will officially be a free agent he'll be allowed to leave Schalke for free his contract will have ended and in January he'll actually be able to agree a move ahead of a summer move with his contract so in January if your contract expires within the next six months you're then able to talk with a club and agree a move it won't happen straight away but we can agree it in January and then it'll take place in the summer when his contract expires so in the summer reportedly Schalke were desperately offering Goretzka to the club but the board didn't buy it. They went out, they bought Paulinho, they brought in some other players as well instead of Goretzka. But apparently he was offered to us in the summer simply because Schalke don't want to sell him or don't want to lose him to Bayern for nothing come next summer. They want to be able to sell him to get some money for him and specifically to sell him to a club that's not a direct rival in the Bundesliga and another top player in Germany going to Bayern Munich for basically nothing. So Schalke want to avoid that. Earlier on this week in Sport Bill, which is a German-based paper, they he said that Goretzka has made up his mind. He either wants to join Bayern Munich or he wants to go to Barcelona. They say that he had some offers as well from England, from Arsenal, from other clubs in England as well, but he either wants to join Bayern or Barca and that he's made up his mind and he'll reveal that come January when he makes his big decision. But also earlier on this week as well, around Friday, Mundo Deportivo did a story on Goretzka himself. They say that Barcelona in January will actively try to pursue Goretzka and sign him there and then. They'll go to Schalke, they They'll offer around 10 to 15 million euros, which of course in this modern market doesn't sound an awful lot, but MD say that Barca believe that amount of money might be enough to secure him, simply because Schalke then don't want to lose him in the summer for absolutely nothing. So they'd rather get some money for him in January, and Barca feel that by going for him in that time, they will then jump ahead of Bayern in the queue by paying the money and getting him there and then. MD do say though, Barca will only be willing to go for him if they offload somebody like Andre Gomez, who has been linked with Tottenham and Monaco for possibly the January transfer window. So quite a few links in the past week or so. There was links in the summer as well. So that's why I thought I would discuss Goretzka with you guys today. A few people have been asking me to make a video about him. So of course, as always, I aim to please. And we're going to be having a look at his career now. We're going to be having a look at what he can offer us and certainly whether he can suit our Barca style of play and whether he would be a good signing in the coming months for Barcelona. So just a bit of background knowledge then on Leon Goretzka currently playing for for Schalke in the Bundesliga. He's a German international, 22 years old, so still relatively young, quite a lot to give. Very good time to get a player at that age when they're still developing and still learning the game. He could explode at any moment. You know, that potential is definitely there. Six foot two and a half tall, so he's quite a tall guy, quite a, a big physique that he does have. The majority of Goretzka's youth career was spent with Bochum in Germany. He also played there professionally for a season. He made 36 appearances in that year, scoring four goals and making eight assists. It was the year after then that he joined Schalke, which is in 2013. He joined them for around three to four million euros, and since then he's made 125 appearances in the Schalke shirt, scoring 16 goals and creating 13 assists. He's also represented Germany very, very heavily over the years. He's now a full international for Germany, but over the years he's represented Germany under 16, under 17, under 19, under 21, and even represented Germany at the Olympic Games. So he's got a lot of experience under his belt particularly with the German national side. Since he's made his first cap, he's also made 10 
senior appearances with the German national team scoring four goals. It's also very important to note as well, of course, you might have seen it this summer at the Confederations Cup. Ter Stegen, of course, had a very good tournament. He won the tournament with Germany. In that team, along with him, was Leon Goretzka. He played a starring role as Germany won the Confederations Cup this summer, and he was actually the joint top goal scorer with three goals. So he had a good summer, very productive, and he's certainly somebody that the German national team are looking to for the future as one of their generation that are certainly coming through with a lot of potential. Goretzka is a player that's very much been at the forefront of Schalke's plans over the last few years. He's played a lot of games for them, particularly last season. He played in nearly every single game they played in right across all the competitions, the Bundesliga, the Cups. They were also involved in the Europa League last season. They reached the quarter final in that competition only to be knocked out to eventual finalists, Ajax. He also scored three goals and registered one assist in those nine Europa League appearances last season. He made 30 appearances in the Bundesliga, scoring five goals and registering five assists. So he was very productive last season for Schalke. He was involved in a lot of football for them and that's carried on this season. He's made five starts for them. He was also off the bench in one of them. So six league appearances in all this season. Only the one goal so far this season. That one just came just over a week ago against Werder Bremen. That was the winner on the day away at Werder. 2-1 win on the day for Schalke. Goretzka getting the winning goal. But Schalke right now in seventh place, just outside the European places. It is worth noting that Schalke over the last few years haven't been at their best. So Goretzka is in a team here that's trying to recover itself, that is trying to sign the right players and go in the right direction. But they haven't always been up there. At times they've struggled. And Goretzka, of course, has had to deal with that. He's not in the strongest of teams in Europe. He's very much having to play in a team that's still establishing themselves and still improving season upon season. So he's not always been at the very, very top in terms of his performance, but also he hasn't been at the top in terms of the team that he's at. So possibly, as you always say, you know, a player like that coming into a team like Barcelona or Bayern Munich, if they go into a team like that surrounded by much better players, you often see the best of them and you see them go to another level as well. So that's important to note. So in terms of Goretzka's style of play then, you know, he's very much a player that's quite similar in physique to Andre Gomez. And a lot of people want to say that will be like, oh, you know, hang on a minute. But I, I just mean in terms of he's quite a tall guy. You know, he's quite strong on the ball. He, he has quite a big physique about him. But he's quite different to Andre Gomez, though, in terms of the fact that he does have a bit of pace about him. He does have that burst of pace, a little bit of energy, that bit, a bit of, you know, flexibility in the way that he plays. And I think that's important because at Barcelona, you need to be sort of agile. You know, Xavi and Iniesta have never been, you know, Olympic runners, but they can still get around. They've still got that burst of energy, that burst of pace that can give them the edge. And I think that's what you need of the player in your midfield role. And I would look at Goretzka, actually, in the way that he plays, the stature that he has, the physique that he has. And I would look at him as a possible potential replacement for Ivan Rakitic in the right of our midfield. That's where I see him. I see him more on the right than on the left, simply because I think his defensive game is very, very underrated. And I think going forward, you could see somebody like in the future, Denny Suarez on the left, possibly Goretzka on the right, two players who are young enough, still improving in the game. And I think those two as a combination could be very, very nice indeed, simply because Goretzka going forward, he's much like Rakitic. He can score goals. He scored goals over the course of his career. He's very, very comfortable taking on shots, and he does take on a lot of shots in games more than our current midfielders do, and he's very, very comfortable doing that. He can take shots from inside the box, outside the box, and he is good on the ball. But I think in terms of his passing, he's not quite as accurate as some of our current midfielders are. He's not quite as careful on the ball as maybe we'd like him to be in terms of his pass completion, in terms of his first touch I think that could be improved but I think once again you put him in that team you put him in the right midfield because right now at Schalke they've sort of been adapting their system this season at times they go with a two in midfield of course so it's a lot more difficult to keep the ball we go with a three of course you've got the three midfielders and when you're on form and when we're on form in that midfield it's very very nice to keep the ball ticking over and I think Goretzka in a, in a settled system in a three could be effective indeed with Busquets just behind him somebody there to take the pressure off Goretzka could be released and he could be free in that right right midfield role on the right of our centre midfield and I think he could really thrive there. And like I said, that defensive side of his game, I do feel like it's underrated. He does make a lot of tackles, he does make a lot of interceptions and I think in the right of our midfield, Rakitic at times you do see him tracking back, you do see him doing a bit of the dirty work and I think you can do that and having somebody in our midfield who's able to go forward and also defend as well because at Barcelona people seem to forget that even though you know we're a fantastic passing team, we really do take pride in keeping hold of the ball and using it in the best possible way but you still need to be good defensively and even though our midfield over the years we've had fantastic passers, even the likes of Xavi and Iniesta, they've always been tactically switched on. They've always been intelligent in their positioning. And I see that in Goretzka. And you see it very, very often, actually, with German players. They are intelligent. They do understand the game. They do understand where they're supposed to be tactically. And that's what I see in Goretzka. I see a player here who's quite rounded. At times, he's quite raw. He's by no means the finished 
article, but at the end of the day, he is 22 years old. I think he can offer us a bit different. You know, like I said, his physique is very similar to that of Andre Gomez, but he's got a bit more pace about him. He's got a bit more flexibility in the way that he plays. He can score more goals, I feel. I think he's more comfortable in the final third when taking on shots, when playing that final pass. He can get assists. And I think at times, though, you need to learn about giving the ball, receiving the ball. He needs to probably be a bit more careful with his first touch and his passing ability. That's certainly something that I would look to possibly improving Goretzka's game. But like I say, he is 22 years old. His defensive side of his game is good. He's very intelligent. He's got experience as well. You know, he's played for Schalke now for a long, long time in the top division of German football. He's played in European competitions. He's now starting to establish himself in the German national team. And at the end of the day, we could be talking about him here on a free transfer. And for me, it's a no-brainer. We should be in for him. I really do believe that. There's some elements of his game which I say do need work. But I think on the whole, he could really fit into Barcelona and could be a, certainly a very good addition to our midfield. If Bayern Munich are interested in a guy, certainly a young talent in their own country, he's got something about him. Bayern Munich do not accept rejects. They do not accept average players. They go after the very best players, the very most talented players, just like Dortmund do. They pick up the best in the Bundesliga and they roll with that. You can see that over the years. If they're interested in Goretzka, it's with very, very good reason. But I think from what I've seen of him, he could certainly adapt to our midfield and he could certainly give us something there in the right of our midfield in a three. He could be very, very effective indeed. So I'm very interested to hear your, your guys' thoughts. You know, what do you think about Goretzka? What do you think that he can give us? You've heard the rumours, absolutely no doubt about that. We've got to wait quite a long time now until January to see if anything happens. I'm not really sure whether anything will. I think we are interested. I think there is interest there from us, but it's just whether Goretzka wants to leave Germany, wants to leave the comfort of his own country and go to a club like Barcelona. Bayern are interested. There's no doubt about that. They do want to sign Goretzka. Schalke don't really want him to go there. They'd rather sell him in January, I think, and get some money for him before they lose him for free in the summer. So it's just whether we act, whether the board can get themselves together, whether Goretzka is a player they want to go after. I hope he is, because I think for a free transfer or a very small fee in January, he could be well worth the investment and well worth the very small risk that it would bring to get him to Barcelona. Though, as always, guys, leave your thoughts down below. What do you think of Goretzka? What do you think he could bring to our team? Is he a player that we should be looking to sign in January or next summer? Do you think we should wait to try and get him on a free, or do you think we should pay some money and get him in January? Or do you think that we should not be pursuing him at all? Let me know your opinions down below, guys. I always want to hear what you think. I hope you did enjoy this transfer video today. It has been a few weeks now since we've heard anything like this. So I thought I'd give you some information. A lot of people were asking about Goretzka, so here it is. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you very, very soon indeed with more videos. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barca. Barca, Barca.